Hey guys, um, just finished watching Daredevil Season 1, Episode 2, Cut Man. Um, this episode was definitely very interesting with the whole, uh, you know, we finally got the death of, uh, we got the death of, um, Jack Murdoch, you know, in the boxing match. I think that was definitely very, very interesting. I'm glad that the, you know, I was kind of questioning the, 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 the young actor for that, but then at the end it kind of connected it all, you know, how it makes sense, how he had the same age, uh, you know, he died probably the same age as, um, you know, as Matt is now just starting to become Daredevil, and I think that definitely, uh, you know, is a good part, like that, to have an influence the character and stuff like that, I think it definitely works very well, um, and some of the, and the fight scenes, again, were, were, were great, um, you know, and I feel like the first episode was very reminiscent of the the first amazing, the first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, how just the some of the, him, you know, kind of in the dark, you know, kind of walking around, where you see the shadow is watching him, but without the guy, the guy be able to see him. Uh, that was kind of cool for the first episode. I want to mention that. Um, but for the second episode, it was definitely very good with the you now that he finally has this uh, partner, um, you know, and she has to uh, to help him stuff like she's gonna help him stuff like that slowly. I definitely can't wait to see more of that that interaction and the whole fucking Nelson and this um, you know uh, their their secretary. That would be interesting to see where that goes. I could feel like I could see them maybe having a relationship, but I could also see maybe. Uh, her wanting a relationship or preferring a relationship with uh, uh, with Matt, just feeling uh, a little bit more connected to him because of his blindness and you know feeling sorry for him, so a little bit like that, and kind of n maybe more of a connection. You know, she's troubled because of this or that, and he's troubled because of his blindness, and there's could be that connection there. But I also feel like you know maybe um, Matt Murdock wouldn't want to have a relationship. I mean, he clearly wouldn't wouldn't he can't didn't even give this. Uh, his now sidekick, I guess, uh, you know, his last name. Didn't even tell him his, 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 his name, tell her his name. So I don't know. I could feel like maybe there, she could want a relationship, but maybe um, he wouldn't. I mean, I guess he'll develop later on, not so soon. Uh, but I don't think he would actually even want to do that just because he'd want to keep her safe and stuff like that. And didn't obviously me not actually have feelings for her or stuff like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was definitely interesting. Uh, and I can't wait to see uh, to see more. And it was nice uh, ha ha seeing what we saw. And I definitely can't wait to see uh, the outcome. I can definitely see that uh, the the quote there. Um, what does he have? A giant a magic hammer or a suit of armor, you know, and stuff like that. So I definitely can't wait to see that in probably in the next episode. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty good episode, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see Stick come in and stuff like that. And further on episodes, and him get his billy clubs out. It'll be cool to see. So. Let me know what you think, guys, about this episode in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.